Hey again, Audacious Church, how are you doing? Welcome back to our devotional series. Uh, I'm Rafaro, part of our Manchester campus team, and it is a joy to be continuing this devotion series on the truth with you. Um, yesterday we read uh, one of my favorite scriptures, and it's so good, we had to bring it back again. And that is, of course, 2 Timothy 3, 16, verse 17. And it says that all scripture is God-breathed, and in that it is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, training in all righteousness so that the servants of God, that's you and me, may be equipped for every good work. So as we continue this series over the next three days, we're going to be looking at how you stay in the truth. And the first thing, of course, is you've got to watch out. That's right, you've got to watch out. This speaks of an awareness and a protection, and it recognizes that there's potentially, and not even potentially, there is something to watch out for. So, First Peter verse five to eight says this: says, "Be careful and watch for the attacks of Satan, your enemy, your great enemy." It says actually, he prowls around like a lion, hungry, looking for some victims to tear apart. I only notice that it says that he is like a roaring and prowling lion. He's not a lion. There's only one lion in the kingdom of God, and that is the lion of Judah. Can I get a name, man? Just me, it's okay. I'm assuming y'all are saying amen back at home. But hey, I love this scripture because it talks about an awareness, right? It talks about an awareness of um, that is not just a feeling, but it's, it's based in truth-driven scripture. That we've got to stay, stop taking um, the position of a victim, as you know, is common in the societal narrative. But the Bible says that we are more than conquerors, that the devil is defeated and that we have to be aware and keep watch so we don't get lured into his false narratives instead we're to stay firmly grounded in the word of god which is the truth the bible says the devil is a lie in fact it's his native tongue he's the father of lies and he wants us to get tricked and tripped up into believing what he you know contorts into the truth as the truth and asks us to build our lives in that but that's not what we're doing what we're going to do is we're going to keep a watchful line for our enemy who prowls like a roaring lion but is not a roaring lion and so we're going to guard our hearts so that we don't get tripped up. So in closing, my, com- my ask for you today is to commit to stay in the word of God. Commit to stay watchful and aware for the false narratives that God- the enemy presents. And the only way to do that is to stay planted in the truth of God. You can only recognize a lie when you know the truth. Have a blessed day, church. It is a pleasure to continue to bring you these. Stay tuned tomorrow as we continue in these series. Bye now.